as if they were brother and sister. Peter Larson working his way through the kink. In third place is Bobby Unser of USAC Racing. The championship star, George Fulmer, had a spin. George Fulmer has spun out. And that gives Mark Donahue an enormous lead. So George Fulmer and the short horseshoe spun. Handle it well. That's the big mix from the big horse George Fulmer this motor race. If Mark Donahue does not make a mistake, it's going to be very difficult for anyone to get up to him. But George Fulmer, on the other hand, may have difficulty with Peter Revson and with Bobby Anser, who of course are going to be catching him up. There's the relation between between Mark Donahue now in the lead and George Fulmer, who... $5,000 for his fifth place finish, and there is the white flag, one thousand to go for Mark Donahue as he strives to win the International Race of Champions. Here's the battle now, as Donahue goes into the road course, Bobby Unser and Peter Revson, and Revson moves up behind Unser. The fight for second place should be something to see. Donahue's well out in front, let's watch what happens between these two great drivers, Unser in the blue and Revson in the black. This is going to be fantastic to see if Bobby Unser can hold off Peter Revson under this sort of pressure. Peter's been holding back, I think. It's interesting to see now a puff of smoke came out of Unser's car there as he went through that turn. Now they're accelerating along. They haven't got too long to go. Peter can't be too far away. It's going to have to be in the draft. As long as Bobby doesn't make a mistake in this last lap, Revson's going to have to do a drafting job on him on this back straight away and through this last big three and four section of the course. And he's right inside him again. Peter Revson, the black car, the number two car, Peter Revson, behind the blue car of Bobby Anser, and he's really tucking himself in, using a different piece of road, as you can see from Bobby there, as they go along through the last corner, and he's really up again before they go on to the super speedway, and he's right tucked in behind him. This is the closest he's been over these last few laps, and he's really in a position to grab here. So the old NASCAR trademark slingshotting has got to come into play here if Peter Revson has the horsepower to pull it in tight behind Unser. Donahue way out in front and he's cruising along, uh, going off the back straight into turn number three and here's Unser now with Revson trying to close on him on the back straight and this is the fight for second place. Second place is worth 13,000, third place worth 9,000, they're in turn number three. Donahue coming off turn number four. Mark can almost coast home now and win it. Donahue coming down here for the start finish line. The second flag is in the air. And Mark Donahue won the International Race of Champions. And what a race it's going to be. You could have actually tried to get up the inside. Is he going to do it? He's got it. He's got it. What a good ride. It's really in the end. Fantastic. Hey, bang, go ahead, though. As Peter Ramson went down low and Bobby Hunter banged into him a little bit but could do nothing about it as Peter Ramson used the slingshot, used the draft and let's take another look at it in slow motion. And here we go, see in slow motion, this action by Peter Revson as he comes into this last kink on this road track, this racing track here at the corner. He's coming through, there he's coming through, and the two cars are getting very close together. There they touch. Now, Peter Revson's really right on that line there. Bobby Hunter's trying to get down, but he can. He's really snooker. He's really in a situation of kiss, they've come apart, and now Peter Revson's got the line to rush to the finishing line. A fantastic piece of driving on the last lap. There you see the checkered flag as Peter Revson takes it just by a whisker. So it is Mark Donahue, SCCA Road Racing, winning it. $54,500 for Mark. Peter Revson takes second place. SCCA Road Racing. Bobby Youngster, USAC Championship Car Racing, finishes third. David Pearson of NASCAR takes fourth. George Fulmer, SCCA Road Racing 5, and A.J. Ford, USAC Championship Car Racing, finishes 6th. Four out in front, that's Al Unser in the yellow car, just behind them. Richard Petty has dropped back. Richard has never had any luck in this series. Mario Andretti still up there to number four position as they go down that long back stretch. Remember, it's very bumpy down here. The cars are... There was a crash on the uh, back stretch. And the car's upside down. down. A car is upside down. I can't see the name or the number it's or even the color. car. It looks like a light-colored car, is it? The silver car would be Al Holbert. The white car would 
It's the silver car driven by Al Hobart, the American road course star. You mentioned, Jackie, before we started the race, that some of the drivers have felt that these cars are loose, uh, not adhering to the road perhaps quite as well. But there he is. He's moving. The driver's trying to get out. The fire, there yep. is a, some sort of fire. The driver, I can see him get the other side. I hope they can see him around that side because there seems to be some movement. Yes, an emergency man's going to that side, trying to get Al Hobart out of that car. The emergency crew's very fast at the scene here. They've got, there's the fireman there with his asbestos suit on. He's got breathing apparatus there. He's in a position to get into that fire. We've got everybody there who can help Excuse us. me, Jackie, but if we had another camera isolated on that incident. Let's take another look at it now in slow motion if we can. In the circle, you see Holbert in the lighter car and closer to the outer wall, Benny Parsons. Now, here's how it developed. It seems that Al Holbert closed in on Benny Parsons as they come out of that turn there and sang these Benny Parsons up against the guardrail because there's the contact. The cars collide with the guardrail. Benny Parsons' car, the red car, nearly turns upside down. And as you can see, of course, Al Holbert's car truly gets on its roof. The sparks are flying out of that car. The smoke is there. Remember, there's all that gasoline. There's there's oil in there. There's cars all over the place. And down there's below, there's Tom Sneva crashing against the inner guardrail. And that car of Tom Sneva's is hard hit, but look at that car beautifully balanced as it goes down that back stretch at a lot of speed. Oh, the car that trails the entire field as they go past the white flag. This is the final lap of the race. And there they go, no problem, blasting by Benny Parsons. He like, got out of the way and let him go. Benny Parsons, like the experienced driver he is, sat back there, went down low on the racetrack and let these three leading cars go through. So Al Anson leads this very last lap going onto the back, shoot, Kale Yarbrough's lying in second, Darrell Waltrip's lying in third position. Kale looking pretty good for that slingshot right now, moving up alongside Al Unser. Kale Yarbrough taking the lead again, they're headed into turn three for the last time today, as Unser got another shot at Yarbrough left, between turn three and four. Coming up on four, Unser setting up for the slingshot, Waltrip going down low. It's going to be door handle to door handle to the finish line. Here they come. It's Hunter and Yarborough. Who's in front? Hunter by a nose. Hunter by a foot. Al Hunter wins the race. Yarborough second. Walter third. And, and Petty gets fourth by a six-inch margin over Gunner Hill. What a fantastic race, guys. What a finish. These three drivers up there really doing an incredible job. And then the, the race behind there for fourth and fifth place. It just couldn't have been a closer finish. Look at them in there now. A wonderful drive there by Al Hunter. Great performance by Kale Yarbrough. And look at them all. Darrell Walter coming alongside there to sort of wave to each other. Here are the final standings. Al Hunter, the winner, followed by Yarbrough, Waltrip, Petty, and Nielsen. In a minute, we'll go to victory lane. But it started off certainly literally with a bang. And what an accident this was. You can see that silver car getting upside down. The car of Parsons almost went upside down also. It is a great deal for the safety of these IROC cars that no one was injured at all in this amazing accident. And on the very last lap, the very last turn, the last few hundred yards, it was Al Unser in the yellow car just starting to edge in front of Cale Yarborough, who had led all the way. Coming to the finish line and the difference between them, a matter of perhaps two feet. Now let's meet the winner down in victory lane with Chrissy Connemann.